How to fix iMessage waiting for activation on iPhone after iOS update. Hello everyone, I am Bishaka and welcome to our channel. Let's get right into the tutorial. In order to fix iMessage waiting for activation on iPhone after iOS update, launch the settings application on your device. Make sure you were connected to a proper working internet connection. Tap on Wi-Fi and ensure your internet connection is good. If not, tap on the info button beside the Wi-Fi you were connected to and tap on the forgot this network option and rejoin again. You can also enable cellular data if your Wi-Fi is not stable. Also, toggle on the button for airplane mode. Wait for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds before toggling it off again. Now go to your home screen and open your preferred browser. In the search bar, search for Apple server status. Tap on the first link there. You can see under system status that all the services are operating normally. You can also check it manually by scrolling down and looking for the iMessage option. You can see it is showing available which means the iMessage feature is working just fine. Now, go to settings again and tap on general and then on date and time. Make sure it is set to set automatically. Go back and now scroll down and look for the messages option. Tap on that and toggle off the button for iMessage. Now, force quit settings along with other apps running in the background. Force quit the app by swiping up and exiting the app. Or if you have an iPhone with the home button, then double click on the home button and force quit the application. Now, open settings again and go to messages. Toggle on the button for iMessage. Also tap on your name banner and scroll down and sign out of the device by entering your password and then tapping on the turn off button. You can also force restart your device if the problem is not fixed yet. To force restart, quickly press and release the volume up button. Next, quickly press and release the volume down button. And finally, press and release the power button until you see the Apple logo. Don't release the power button when you see the slide to power off slider. Keep holding the side button until the Apple logo appears. Once it appears, you can release the power button. After force restarting, go to settings again and sign in to your device again. Your problem should have been fixed by now. If you find this tutorial helpful, do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for staying with us until the end.